Samantha and today I'm going to show you what is in the kids Easter baskets for this 2015 year. I did this video last year as well so the link to the 2014 baskets will be below. For those of that, you that are new, I have a 7 year old son, a 5 year old daughter and then a 2 year old son as well. So I'll be showing all three of their baskets. It's kind of a wide range of ages and um, likes and that sort of thing. The baskets are from Pottery Barn Kids, and we use them every single year. I absolutely love that they have their names on them and that they're a good size to fill. Um, sometimes I actually feel like they're a little too big, but um, typically I can find things to fill them with. Starting off with Matthew, he still needs one more thing. This is why I like to fill their baskets in advance so I know exactly what's going in them and that I have a full enough basket and that sort of thing. Um, we also don't typically don't put too much candy in the baskets. Um, we do an Easter egg hunt and those eggs have some candy in them, but for the most part we try and stick to things that the kids are going to use. Um, in the past I've done a lot of things that the kids actually need. I think it's a great way if you are buying spring clothing or if they need new shoes or if they need um, some sort of small athletic equipment for an activity they have to throw it in the basket from the Easter Bunny and um, you're kind of killing two birds with one stone if it's something you had to purchase anyway. So Matthew does still need one more thing. I'm hoping my husband can help me out with something sports related that can go in here um, because I'm at a loss. He doesn't really play with toys and um, I don't want to get him something he's not going to use. So the first thing in his basket is a pair of... Um, swimming trunks. These are from Target and I like the bright color, the bright orange on them and he will definitely be needing those this summer. Next is a pair of sunglasses and Matthew goes through sunglasses like crazy. He has to wear them every time he's outside and as a seven year old would, he loses quite a few pairs of them. So um, any additional sunglasses he can get are a good thing. And then Target actually had these like pre-filled eggs and these have lollipops and candy and stickers in them. I got Angry Birds for Matthew and I thought it was a nice way to have some candy but not to have to buy a full bag of candy to give them a few pieces. I also included a Pez dispenser with the Pez candies. I put a movie in here. This is Rookie of the Year. It's a baseball movie and my husband and I actually really like this movie as well and we know that Matthew will love it and he's really into baseball so um, that is why I chose that one. I also got the bigger kids a video game. We typically travel for Easter, so this works out really well for them to have something new then to play with in the car as well. So this is a Nintendo 3DS game and it is Donkey Kong. Um, I think Matthew will enjoy it. Any type of new game for his DS when we're on a long road trip, he appreciates and enjoys. I did include a small thing of Legos, um, nothing too big, but I got the Pirates ones and um, he does do Legos occasionally. It isn't something he's obsessed with, but he does like to play with them, so those are in there as well. And lastly, I got him a book, and this book is called House of Robots and it's by James Patterson, um, which is kind of cool because you think of James Patterson as um, writing like adult novels, and um, he actually has a set of books that are catered more towards children, and Matthew has read um, Treasure of the something or another, and so I thought that he would like this one as well. What's nice about this is it actually takes him a while to get through these books, so um, we aren't going through, he, he sometimes, if it's an easier book, he just like blows through books so quickly, and this one takes him a little bit longer. So, so far that is what is in Matthew's basket. Now I'll load it up so you can see what it looks like. are still super easy to fill baskets for. They still play with a ton of toys and it's just much easier to find things to put in their baskets. That's why theirs look a little bit more plump and full. First I got one of these eggs for Lily as well and it has Anna and Olaf and Elsa on it. The, her basket isn't really themed Frozen but it's something she plays with a lot so I did get her a few of those things. And there's some stickers and there's um, some um, candy in here as well. Lily also loves Hello Kitty, so I got her this tiny cute little plush um, Hello Kitty toy with the like, cotton candy. I thought it was super cute, and I know that she'll love it as well. 
These pack, play pack grab and goes are amazing. I love these. Um, they are a dollar and the dollar spot at Target. And they come with the crayons. They're great if you're eating in a restaurant or for traveling or um, just to pull out for something fresh and new. So I got an Anna and Elsa one of those. The video game that I got for her is she has a leap pad and I got her a My Little Pony game. And I got one that is a little bit older than the one she has. This is a five to eight year old one. And um, most of the games we've been getting her are more in the four to seven range. So it's kind of like a step up and something she doesn't already have. As far as the movie goes, I got her Sophia the First, The Floating Palace. This was um, recently on TV, but we also like to have the DVDs for when we're in the car and watching DVDs um, while traveling and with summer coming up, there are going to be more longer trips in the car. And she loved this, so I, I know she'll be so excited to get it. I also did get her bathing suit. This is from Target as well. It's a little tankini, and I thought it was so cute. The bright colors, and then I like how the straps aren't tying straps. Um, they're kind of like just um, attached to the suit, and then the bottom is just like a black bottom. I found these little bracelets. I wish I would have kept the packaging um, in the toy section, and they have little um, charms on them from Frozen. And you can swap them out and put them on different bracelets and things like that. So I'm actually going to um, like fold these up and put them inside Easter eggs to give her those um, like that. And then I have a pair of sunglasses. These I actually found at Michael's and they have Anna and Elsa on them as well. And a Pez dispenser for Lily. This is um, like the little clip-on um, clothing dolls, and she does. She has these in a lot of the princesses, but she does not have them um, for the Frozen theme. And these ones actually roll, I guess. I don't know. Um, I didn't realize it did that, but I'm sure she'll like that. I also included a jump rope. We have been playing outside a ton with friends lately. We're in a new community this year, and we have been having just so many kids in our yard or they go over to other friends houses and it's just awesome but I wanted to add a few more just easy um, play outside in the driveway type of things so I thought that this jump rope would be nice and then I also have a book this is um, Easter Bonnet Parade Minnie Mouse and then just some lip glosses as well to use cellophane bags and wrap them um, baskets in cellophane bags. This year I think I'm just going to leave them like this. It was a lot of work and it really didn't serve any sort of purpose. So I, I think I'm going to skip that step this year. Now moving on to Joshua's basket. Again, I'm not really doing theme baskets, but Joshua loves Paw Patrol and um, luckily for me, a lot of things are coming out with the Paw Patrol characters on them. So it became a Paw Patrol basket, basically. The first thing that I picked up is a toy for outside, and this is one of the buckets that you can, um, there's three bubble um, sticks, and then you put the bubble solution inside. It's nice for little kids because if you spill it, the bubble mixture doesn't go everywhere, and um, yeah, I just thought it was super cute. I mean, once you take this off, I don't really think it has Paw Patrol. Oh, no, it does. It does have Paw Patrol on it, so he'll enjoy that. I also got him an egg. I got his with some M&Ms and some Skittles in it, just easy candies that I know that he can eat safely. I also got this, um, I think this is Rocky. He has um, these and a few of the other characters, and I just knew that he would like this one as well. He actually ended up picking out this book while we were at Michael's. And when we got home, he really didn't realize that he didn't have it anymore, so I'm going to put it in his Easter basket. He's still young enough that he'll have no idea. For a movie for Joshua, I decided to get him the Paw Patrol Marshall and Chase on the case. This is something he can watch in um, the car while we're traveling, and um, we have another DVD, but it has different episodes on it. So this one will be a lifesaver when we're making long trips. 
I also got him a Paw Patrol little notebook. This was in the dollar spot at Target, so it's just a dollar, and he can color in this, but he also will like it because it does have the characters on it. I got him a Pez dispenser as well, and then I also got him this from the dollar spot. It was a $3 item, and it comes with Paw Patrol crayons and stickers, and it is kind of like hard on the back, so he can actually write on um, this in the car. Now, since he doesn't have any video game system, I did pick him up another toy, and this is a Paw Patrol pup pad, so it's like the little iPad, and all of these buttons make noise. I'm not going to press them because he'll wake up from his nap if he hears the sound of Paw Patrol, so um, I think he'll love this. This was also at Target. Lastly for him, I got him a Pete the Cat book, and it is the Big Easter Adventure. And we have a ton of the Pete the Cat books, but I don't believe we have the Easter one. It's so cute. We love the Pete the Cat series. The kids love it. I love the illustrations are so beautiful. And they just really enjoy um, reading about Pete the Cat. Easter baskets this year. If you have any suggestions for um, anyone in the comments below of what you fill your Easter baskets with every year, or if you have your own video showcasing what you keep in your child's Easter baskets, please leave the link below in the comments. That way we can all help each other out with coming up with ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed. If this is your first time here, please click the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys all next time. Bye everyone.